Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. And today we have a really important update on social security income. Many people are asking this question. Could we have a port stimulus check for social security and SSI in the upcoming future? Are we really going to get another economic boost that is port stimulus check or should we just give up the hope as of right now? Today we are going to answer this question in the depth. We have got couple of things from Senior Citizens League. Is Congress talking about this matter? Can social security claimants expect another $1,400 check? What Congress is discussing about the poor stimulus check? We have got all the updates on social security income, SSI, possible poor stimulus check, stimulus update, stimulus package. So guys, before we start this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't it already. Turn on your bell notification so you'll never miss any of our latest videos. And with that being said, hit that like and let's get right into it. So well, before you type in any of your comments let me tell you congress has not yet taken any action to give senior citizens that is older americans on any particular help despite the inflation reaching a new 41 year high and the cost of groceries and things like basic necessities gas are skyrocketing but however there is a petition to pursue lawmakers to give senior citizen a fourth stimulus check of one thousand four hundred dollars this possible fourth stimulus check is still making the rounds and while the beneficiaries of social security and supplemental security income they had hoped to get that congress would take fourth stimulus payment into their consideration but the senior citizen league has been advocating for the social security claimants who are among the hardest hit by the price increases and they are demanding to receive one time one thousand four hundred dollar stimulus check and in response to that in a letter to congress last year the senior citizen league group stated that many older americans who are on fixed incomes will be severely impacted by the cost of living adjustment and inflation and therefore the proposal was developed as a result of hearing from numerous seniors about their struggles in this particular year following the pandemic and well there are other organizations besides the senior citizen league they are also pursuing and they are attempting to contact the congress and onto the change.org there is a petition available and that petition is getting a serious attention like more than 3 million people have signed this petition that really shows the need of the ports stimulus check and the petition goes like this it demands for during the duration of crisis this one is requesting the congress to issue monthly stimulus checks totaling two thousand dollars for adults and one thousand dollars for children's the original goal of this petition was three million it has already surpassed and the new goal is 4.5 million so this is the petition on change.org two thousand dollars per month to every american and already this petition has passed over 3 million signatures and right now it's heading for 4.5 million signatures to become one of the top signed petition on change.org but despite all those efforts from the senior citizen league and even that petition onto the change.org despite getting all those attention even 3 million people have signed signed that petition i mean that's not a small thing so what is congress responding to that will there be a fourth stimulus check approved well numerous lawmakers have advocated for ongoing stimulus payments but when lawmakers concentrated on the belt back better act any hope was dashed late in the last year as the inflation engulfed the country the social spending plan came to a standstill in congress and well according to some of the officials stimulus checks are are not coming from a federal level for a good reason and you might ask what is that good reason why they are not pushing for fourth stimulus check and they say that would bring higher prices well let me explain you know while several states are sending out stimulus checks in other forms of financial aid to residents to try combat sky high prices of everything from basic things like food gasoline thanks to record high inflation and no one should expect money from federal government anytime soon however expert caution that there is an excellent reason for federal government to be not to be sending out fourth stimulus check while stimulus check was a massive help for many struggled during the beginning of the pandemic stimulus check allowed many people to stay out of their debt due to some extra cash but they also believe that to be part of the problem when it comes to what has caused the high inflation in the united states well the demand that extra cash on hand would create in addition to a still 
global constraint supply chain around the world and this would definitely cause prices to soar even higher so basically they are saying if you increase the buying power of the consumer the prices will even go higher in the constraint supply chain so they think sending out a poor stimulus check would cause even higher prices on to basic things so while the supply of the products remain a, an issue so the government doesn't need to find a way to increase the demand the way they did it initially during the pandemic and the money would be better spent on trying to find ways to ease the supply chain issues instead so looks like that's the direction they are heading over to and you know since then congress has turned its attention to other matters and no discussion about stimulus funding are currently going on to the table and this implies on to the social security claimants so they shouldn't expect receiving another check of $1,400 as of right now. Well, government think that sending out poor stimulus check further cause inflation. So instead, they are focusing on other things to drop down the inflation. Now, let's talk about the August 2023 Social Security SSI SSTI Fixed Income Beneficiaries Payment Schedule. The beneficiaries of supplemental security income, they receive their money during the first days of the month. So be sure to check out first of the August 2023 for your social security supplemental security income to be deposited in your direct express card checks next important date is the 3rd of the august 3rd of the august is for those group of beneficiaries if you have received your social security before may 1997 or somebody receiving both social security and ssr payment together be sure to check out 3rd of the august for your social security payment to be deposited and check out your ssr payment to be deposited on 1st of the august all right guys moving forward the next important date we got is actually six days later which is a 9th of the august 2023 from right over here we are talking about all those group of beneficiaries typically receive their payment based on their birth date all right so first group of recipient who typically get their payment whose birth date falls between first to tenth of the month so if your birth date lies between first to tenth of the month be sure to check out the second wednesday that is the 9th of the august 2023 be sure to check out direct express card checks mails or your bank accounts all right guys then moving forward we got the next important date exactly a week later all right this is when the 16th of the august very important date comes in handy if you are those group of beneficiaries whose birth date falls between 11 to 20th of the month then be sure to check out 16th of the august for your benefits to be deposited in your direct express card checks mails or bank accounts all right guys then moving forward we got the next important date which is 23rd of the august 2023 now who will begin to receive their payment on 23rd of the august well if you are those group of beneficiaries who typically receive their payment on 26th of the august if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month those group of beneficiaries typically get their payment on fourth wednesday once again i checked it fourth wednesday in the august is a completely normal day no weekend no holiday so be sure to check out 26th of the august if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month typically all those group of beneficiary will receive their payment based on their birth date second wednesday that's when if your birth date falls between first to 10th of the month will be going to receive their payment if your birth date lies between 11 to 20th of the month you'll be going to receive your payment on third wednesday if your birth date lands between 21st to 31st of the month then you'll be going to receive your payment on fourth wednesday if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video